Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing another installment in the luxury Will I Buy It series. But here on my channel, we had a little French twist. So for collections we do want, we say oui. And for collections we don't want, we say non merci. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you know, I have my online beauty consulting service. This is a one-on-one -on -one video chat with me where you get to pick my brain and ask me any makeup questions you have. So to make an appointment for yourself, go ahead and click the link in the description box down below. Okay, so let's pretend you and I have just met up at the McGill Center. We're gonna go get our steps in. We're gonna walk around the different department stores, the different beauty counters, and we're gonna see what's new, what's fresh. I like this series because I think it's fun just seeing what's out on the horizon for new makeup releases, new makeup launches. I have a couple of Instagram accounts here. The first one here is wayj0315 and they have the sneakiest of sneak peeks here. So this is for spring of 2023, which I know is quite a while away, but I still want to talk about it. This is the new Dior 10 Colors Eyeshadow Palette coming soon in 2023 spring. Earlier, did I say 2023 or 2022? The spring that is coming up next, <laughs> that one there. So this is a 10 shadow palette. I'm surprised because we've definitely seen a lot of these palettes from the brand that are eye and face you know it's eyeshadow in the center and then on the sides it's like blush bronze or highlighter but it says here this is 10 colors of eyeshadow hmm obviously this photo here is perhaps not the best quality ever but it's the sneakiest of sneak peeks this clearly is very spring it's giving me pink pastel the photo here i feel like a lot of the shades look very similar I think it's just the photo quality. Um, hopefully in the next several months before spring, we'll see other photos here, but I'm really curious if this is actually 10 shadow, like 10 eyeshadows, or if it's the center eyeshadow, like six eyeshadows, and then the sides almost look like, like the top looks like highlighter, and the two bottom could be bronzer slash blush. You know what I mean? So I'm very curious. Um, I love, yeah, the pink pastel. This gives me very spring, very girly. I love pink for spring. I know it's not very groundbreaking, but I love it anyway. So I definitely do want to see more, like, better photos, better quality, and some swatches too. Uh, the case is interesting. I haven't seen a leopard print, animal print case from the brand before. So I think this is very interesting. I definitely want to see this more in person and better better photos. So this is like a maybe, it's a peut-être. Um, I still haven't picked up one of the large palettes from the brand, but I know a lot of people love them. So let's put a pin in this one and revisit once we get more photos. Okay, so we also have here new Dior Addict Lip Maximizers. I love the lip maximizers, I have multiples i have lots of different colors i just did a video recently where i where i talked about the difference between the lip maximizers lip glows etc because there are several lip care products within the brand and it's kind of confusing so i did that um this all looks like lip maximizer so, so maximizer has that plumping tingling effect i i love it i feel like it just fills in your lips it plumps them it fills in all the creases and really just gives your lips a nice amount of volume. This all looks very colorful. There's some nudes here, but we see like a classic red. I'm tempted by the pinks. It looks like some nudes, some golds. There really is just like a beautiful color story here, but definitely lots of color. The My favorite maximizer is the one that's like the nudie one. I don't know where it is, but... I have a favorite one and it's the one that's 001. It's the one that reacts to your skin's pH and it's just sort of like a nudie pink. That's my favorite shade, but these ones here, I would definitely get a couple of these. They just look gorgeous. I love the shades. What's nice with this type of product is that it's lip care, but also 
gives it gives a nice gloss effect so especially if it has a lot of pigment if it has a lot of color i think it's very promising so for me this launch is definitely a wee for me apparently there will be eight shades available in this collection here i'm not certain yet if these will be eight new shades if these are repeats i don't have that much information yet i would guess this is going to come out sometime in january uh, right after the holiday. That's my guess here. Maybe for the spring. So it's a wee. I don't know which shades, but it's going to happen for sure. Moving on to another account here. This is Trend Mood 1. And here we have a advent calendar. Now we did a Will I Buy It specifically on advent calendars, but lo and behold, we have a new one here. And this is from YSL Yves Saint Laurent. This entire photo here is the YSL holiday collection. So let's look at the advent calendar here. I haven't uh, purchased this, but I just, I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to show it to you because I think it looks gorgeous. I think the gold and black to me is very festive, very holiday, very new year. I just think it looks really lovely. So let's see if we can get a close up here of the products in store. So here we just have some miniatures. We have the Black Opium, the Libre Perfume. I have a sample here that I've been using, that I've been enjoying. We have the mascara, and then there's a small bottle here of like some sort of peachy, ambery liquid. I think it's a perfume of their like niche perfume line. We've got lipstick. It looks like a moisturizer or maybe a scented body lotion. Their advent calendar is 24 pieces and it includes makeup, skincare, and fragrance because some of the advent calendars had 25 days and I was really confused. It's 24 days. So if we look at this photo here, we can see these are all the products included. There are definitely a lot of lipsticks, a lot of lipsticks, a lot of perfumes as well. So And skincare too. I think it's a skincare as well. I've seen a lot of people purchase this YSL advent calendar over other brands. I don't know why. Um, I mean, I like the brand, obviously, but I think this one in particular, like the YSL advent calendars, maybe they're more advantageous. Maybe they're just priced better than other brands. Uh, this one here is 350 USD. So still not cheap, but definitely like better than Chanel. Remember last year it was like, I want to say like 850 USD or something wild and it was mostly stickers or something. So this one here, obviously, I don't think there's anything full size. It looks, maybe the lipsticks, don't quote me on that, but they look like luxury sample size. Um, so, I mean, if you like the brand, if you want to test something out, I'm sure it's gorgeous. I'm sure it's a gorgeous centerpiece on your vanity. Let me know in the comments if you have purchased the YSL advent calendar because yeah, for whatever reason, this seems to be the most popular one. Now we have a couple other items in their holiday collection here. We have the Rouge Volupté Shine Lipstick Balm in Rose Dentel and Burnt Zelig. I think Rose Dentel looks so pretty. I love that sort of like nudie, rosewood, your lip but better pink. And I love those tubes. I love that gold with the YSL band and seeing the color in the center. That to me is like the height of luxury lipstick packaging. I just think it looks so exquisite. I love that. And then the other one here is also like a nudie caramel brown. It looks gorgeous. Like both of them look glossy and your lip but better. They both look really stunning. I think they look really nice and definitely quite glossy. Whereas this one here, the Rouge Pure Couture Lipstick, this satin finish one, it's definitely going to be more of a, a classic bullet. This is Nu Inattendu. So again, well, this one's like nude, but almost like a, a bricky red nude. Very pretty, very lovely. I like this bullet lipstick packaging, but I think I prefer the other one better. Something about it to me is just so extra, so decadent. I think this looks beautiful too, like the bullet of gold lipstick, but I don't know, I like the other one better. And we also have a second shade here, 1966. So this one here I think is called Rouge Libre, and this is just like a classic red. Classic red for the holidays, I mean, it's a very classic combination, isn't it? I think it looks pretty. I have a lot of red lipstick, so this one here, as much as I love a red, it doesn't really call my name 
quite as much, but it does look pretty. There is also a 24 piece, no, no, hold on, that's very wrong. There is a lip showroom vault. So this is this photo here. This is the lip showroom vault. These all look like reds, but they look like the best of the best in each category. We have the Volupte Shine, my favorites, the uh, gold tube with the colorful band. We have the satin finish and then these liquid lipsticks here. All of them are red and this is at Sephora and this is like a set you can get. I think it looks nice. I personally wouldn't get that for me. I mean, you could buy this and gift it. You could break it up and give to other people. Um, it just seems like a lot of like similar shades, but I, don't, I definitely have a lot of similar shades from different brands. So maybe it just depends on your day. And then we have the Couture Clutch Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know if this one in particular is new because we've definitely seen the Couture Clutch palettes from uh, YSL before, but I think it's new packaging. Like the outside looks like a gold case. It looks very gold, very warm, very festive. It's like you just came in from the cold and you're walking into a party for New Year's and everything is warm and inviting and that's the vibe it's giving me. And so I think it looks really lovely. I think for me personally, this YSL holiday collection here, it's a bit of a pick and mix. Um, I think overall, aesthetically, it looks very nice. I think it's well executed. Am I going to buy it? I think realistically, it's a no merci. Like the advent calendar, I'm sure looks amazing. I just don't see myself buying it. But I think, like, I think it looks objectively nice. And the lipsticks, I definitely will not get the lip showroom vault set. If I get anything, it would be one of the individual lipsticks and it would be one of the Volupte Shine. So it's probably a no merci for me. Probably a no merci. Okay, moving on to Makeup by Mario. Now, I am shocked by this because this is a little bit of a larger palette. It's like 12 shades and I think I'm actually sort of tempted. I think it looks beautiful. So it's 12 shades in suede matte, uh, natural metallic and glossy shimmer finishes. This, I don't think it's limited edition. It says it's an anniversary edition palette, but I don't see limited edition. I think this looks really pretty. Um, it's definitely neutral, although there are a lot of warms. Like I see like three warm suede matte shades. There is a little bit of cool. I kind of wish there was at least one more matte cool shadow in here. I still feel like we are still seeing way too many warm shadows. Definitely a little bit less, but I would love to see more cool tone shadows. I would, like to, I would like to see at least one more in this palette here. However, when we look at the swatches, that's why I was like, oh no. Like, look at this. The second to last shadow there, that's the one. I saw that and I was like, It's so shiny, it's so sparkly, it's so pretty. That's the one, if I could buy that individually, I would. It looks so pretty. And then the center, not the center, but the, the shade on top of that, that like rich chocolatey brown, that looks so lovely as well. Definitely a different color story, but it just looks so smooth and so buttery. I would say that the three shades on top look a bit more like topper shades. Ah, uh, but that that silver second to last shadow, oof, that's the one that caught my eye. And then here we have just the suede mattes. See what I mean? Like the last color on the bottom here is like very, very brown, like very chocolatey brown. The second to last is brown. Then we have a pink. Then we have a cool like taupe and then brown again, beige, white. I kind of just wish there was like more of like a taupey cool, maybe a darker one. I just wish there was a bit more cool in this, but I think it looks lovely. Here are swatches across like three different skin tones. This is the type of palette that when you look at it in the palette, in the pan, it doesn't look groundbreaking. You know what I mean? Like this is very neutral. It's not going to look 
super thrilling. However, this is the type of color story that tends to be incredibly flattering and very, very easy to use and just sort of like a no-brainer workhorse palette because the colors are not like turquoise and neon, you know what I mean? Like it's very subtle, very beautiful and oof. I am extremely tempted. I'm shocked because usually a 12 shadow palette, I'm like, oof, no, no merci. But this one, I think I know exactly what shades I would use the most. So this is like a peut-être leaning on a wheat. If I bought it, I could get it during the Sephora sale. Hmm, tempting. This is a peut-être leaning towards we. Next up is something from Natasha Denona. This is the Retro Glam Palette. Have we seen this before? We've definitely seen glam. I feel like Natasha Denona has used glam a lot in her palette titles. Very interesting. This is going to be 15 shades, matte and shimmery finish, available soon through the Natasha Denona website and also different retailers. Okay, let's talk about the color story. So, retro glam. Is this like 1960s? Because we do have some like teal, blue, light blue colors. We also have like coral pink. I think of teal and pink as a very like 60s color story. So that's why I think it's called retro glam here. This color story personally is really not calling my name the same way that Makeup by Mario did. Some people will see this and be super in love. Like for me, I don't know, there's something here that's just not off, but I just don't know how I would use this. And it's definitely not wooing me the same way that Makeup by Mario did. I like color, I like colorful shadows, but these here, I don't know, they're just not doing it for me. I think if you went and like color blocked, like if you went four shadows at a time, you could create really beautiful looks, but just overall, all of these colors together. And I'm one who loves blue shadow, who loves a blue eyeshadow look and green eyeshadow, but something here, mm, I rarely wear like coral and teal together. So that's not for me, but some of the lighter colors, like the shade called Flutter, looks so beautiful just to wear as like a champagne shadow. I think it looks, like I think it looks fine. It's just, ugh, it's not calling my name. So for me, this is a really easy pass. It's a non merci, but for those of you who are diehard Natasha Denona fans, let me know in the comments, is this a way for you? I'm sure it will be for some people because some people just, um, you know, love the brand and love her larger palettes. But for me, this is gonna be an easy pass, no merci. All right, now Natasha was listening to me. Natasha Denona, thank you for <laughs> taking my personal phone calls here. This is the new Baby Gold Micro Eyeshadow Palette. So this is three shadows. This is definitely up my alley. And these are three existing shades from the gold palette. So Log, a dark brown matte, Sandstone, a cool yellow beige matte, and Oro, a warm gold metallic. Interesting. So yes, thank you for listening to my personal complaints in making a micro palette. I think this is very cute, very adorable. I like that these are colors that exist before from a previous palette. Um, yeah, I would love to hear from you if you own the previous Natasha Denona gold palette, the original one. What are your thoughts? Because I want to hear from you specifically, those of you who already have the original, what do you think of the new micro palette? Because to me, this looks very nice and very enticing, but if you're someone who already is a huge fan of the brand, like, is this working for you or do you prefer the larger palettes? Personally, for me, I feel like the timing of this is a bit off because to me, I mean, I guess it could be a really cute uh, holiday gift, a stocking stuffer, if you will, but to me, this is a very warm J-Lo glow, summer Miami heat type of vibe. And so right now, this is not something that I am looking for or reaching for. I want something cooler for the colder months. Uh, I think I love the idea. I hope they keep coming with this. I hope they keep um, continuing this idea and the micro palettes. I'm here for that. But 
I just don't think that I'm here for this in particular. I think if, I mean, the the packaging, the marketing looks gorgeous. This gold, warm gold is nice too. Warm gold can also be holiday as well, but I think it's almost too warm for me. I don't know, I don't know. I think if it was a brand that I personally used a lot of, I would be more swayed, but oh, I think it's a no merci, no merci. All right, now moving on to Viseart. Now here's another 12 shadow palette that has me questioning myself. I'm very confused here. I'm actually quite seduced by this palette. This is Viseart. This is the Etendue palette in Le Marais. So Le Marais is a very chic neighborhood in Paris. It's in central Paris in the first couple arrondissements. So this, I have a few palettes from Viseart. They're great. I think I have a couple of their quads or foreshadow palettes maybe a six pan, something small. I, I love them. Everyone that I've purchased has been great. I've always had great quality. I've never really had any issues with them. I think it's just a question of color story and what suits my needs here. This is giving me very fall foliage. It's giving me uh, warm fall colors. I love the purple and I love that burnished red. I love the gold. I love the browns. I love, I love the light colors and I love this one color off to the side on the top that looks like it's gonna be iridescent purple with like a shift in it. Give me that all day long. This palette is inspired by the maze of Le Marais in the charming cobbled streets of the vibrant cafe courtyards. Yep, so imagine falling leaves, scrunching underneath your boots. Yeah, and you know, sitting at a cafe and having a hot chocolate in the middle of the afternoon. I'm here for it. I'm ready for travel, let's go. Uh, I think this is gorgeous. Um, do we have swatches? No, we don't have any swatches, but like I said, I love Viseart. I think it's a great brand. It's great shadows. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's a patate. It's a heavy patate. It's a heavy maybe. I do really appreciate that there is a nice balance of matte and shimmer finishes. It looks like it's evenly split, like six matte and then six, six more uh, shimmer finishes. I think it looks beautiful. Again, if I got this now, I could get it on sale during the Sephora sale. Stop tempting me. Um, but yeah, this is a heavy patate. It's a maybe. I think it's it's new, but it doesn't say limited edition, which I love. I mean, I know brands, it's like a marketing thing to do everything limited edition. But for me, often when it's limited edition, I'm just like, ugh, no, it's like too rushed. And like by tomorrow, it'll be sold out. So what's the point? So if it's permanent, I'm definitely more interested. I don't know. I feel like that's sort of marketing, like does like a uno reverse effect on me. I'm like, uh, you know what? I don't really feel like it. Now, last but not least, we have a super sneak peek here from Miss Lisa Eldridge. So I got an email from her. I'm sure many of you have, if you have joined her uh, mailing list, it says, get ready for what? Hi, hi beauties. A very exciting new chapter is about to begin at the house of Eldridge. I've been working hard at something new and breathtaking, just in time for the holidays. I can't wait to share it with you. Stay tuned for the full reveal. I can confirm the collection will be available to shop on my website from November 11th, 4 p.m. UK time, save the date. And so Lisa will be giving us more sneak peeks very soon. So November 11th, that's quite soon. So this is what I have so far. I'm working with this screenshot right here. This looks like a compact to me. If we look at the top corner, like if we just like zoom in the top corner, it looks like ridges of what? I don't... So to me, I think this is a compact. It says just in time for the holidays. Now Lisa has done a lot. She's done lipsticks, lip liners, lip gloss, a foundation, liquid eyeshadow. She doesn't have a face powder yet. She doesn't have blush. She doesn't have an eyeshadow compact. I don't, I think it's going to be a compact. I think that's what this is going to be. And I, I don't know. I think if I have to guess, I don't know. It could be eyeshadow. It could be an eyeshadow compact. I hope it's small. Oh, Lisa, please don't come out with an 18 shadow palette, please. I feel like she wouldn't come out with a giant palette because she knows her clients. Like her clients are like very... I feel like she wouldn't do that to us. I don't think she would come out with a giant palette because she's come out with those liquid shadows that are individual. 
maybe it's a bronzer but i feel like bronzer wouldn't be for the holiday season like what's holiday i guess she could do a powder highlighter i don't know i really don't know i think it's going to be something in a compact well that's very vague thank you so much ally we are so happy to have your expertise i would say a face powder or a blush that's that's my guess those are my guesses i would love to see i mean literally anything i'm really excited to see what this is so yeah that's my final answer it's a blush or it's a face powder but honestly like i'm really literally just guess guessing these are shots in the dark here this is yeah just a guess let me know what you think it is what do you think this is do you know are you watching lisa let us know give us a sneak peek um yeah i'm really curious what this is I hope it's blush. I just feel like blush would make sense to go with all of her lipsticks, like to coordinate. But a powder is always like very useful. Hmm. Hmm. In my mind, Lisa Eldridge, the brand and the aesthetic is very comparable to Charlotte Tilbury. And I know that Charlotte Tilbury is very famous for their face powder. So that could be it. I don't know. I really want to hear from you. I want to know what you think. So this is probably going to be a wee, unless Lisa devastates me with an 18 shadow palette. Then it'd be a no merci, but it's probably going to be a wee. Whatever it is, it's probably a wee for me. I would love to hear from you. Sound off down below. Which collections are calling your names? Which collections are you saying no merci to? I can't wait to hear from you. If you enjoy this format, if you like this style of video where we talk about new and upcoming releases, I do because I just like to know what's on the horizon, what do, I, what do I want to spend my money on, that's always fun. If you enjoy this type of content, I highly encourage you to subscribe because apparently almost half of you who watch me are not subscribed yet. Do not trust the algorithm to bring you back. The algorithm is faulty, it, it may not bring you back, so go ahead and subscribe just in case. But anyway, I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So I thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.